Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny GB here bringing you guys another Pokemon trading card game online standard post rotation deck profile. So I'm going to be running down many decks that are going to be able to be used in the standard format post rotation. You guys saw me kick it off with the Naganadel Stack Attack a GX deck. It is something that we're about a month out from the rotation where XY sets are no longer legal and standard play. So I feel like seeing what the metal will look like post rotation is going to be a fun thing for me to do. So starting it off, if you guys want the deck that I'm about to showcase today, go ahead, check the description. I have it pasted down below. Go ahead, join the John GB country club. You guys can suggest deck building over there as well as uh, being open for trades. So that is something to keep in mind for that. You guys can also help with the Draft League stuff. But the deck we are going to be reviewing today is Scizor GX. So this, next to Naganadel Stack Attacka, might be my favorite deck right now that I've tried. Um, we want to change it to there. So it's a very quick deck. If you actually get this deck going, I think it works very well. Now there's some stuff I could change. I need to optimize in the deck um, and see in testing. So I know for one, I need to take out one more shadow and I need to add probably a fourth DCE. So starting it off, we have one Oranguru. So the Oranguru in the deck just pretty much instruct lets you draw three cards. Good ability to refill your hand when needed, especially since you can really lower your hand very easily with this deck, with all the searching potential and the item cards being used. We play four copies of Scyther. So Scyther, twin play lets you search for Scyther. So if you are going second, you twin play, get two more Scyther out onto the bench. That way you can save your nest balls for another Pokemon. And then agility, flip a coin. If heads prevent all damage, including uh, prevent all the effects of attack including damage done to this Pokemon so 70 HP weakness to fire is okay Ho-Ho and Entei are getting an Oko on you regardless other, other the other fire Pokemon available in the meta right now are Victini so you know what being weak to fire is actually pretty safe then we have three copies of Scizor GX so Scizor GX has the ability Danger Perception. So if this Pokemon has 100 HP remaining, its attacks do 80 more damage. So why is this important? So Steel Wing does 80, and we take 30 less from my opponent's attacks next turn. So adding 80 on top of that is 160. We still do not get a KO yet, uh, but with the Choice Band, we now hit 190. So you're being able to take out Buzzwolves and Tapu Leles, Zorar, actually not Zorar, Zorarks are 200. You're able to take out Lele's, Buzzwolves, Ultra, Necro uh, no, Ultra, yeah, Ultra Necrozmas, Rayquazas, Dustman Necrozmas, Dawnwings Necrozmas, with just a choice ban. Then it has Crosscut GX. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, this attack does 100 more. So now you're looking at dealing 280 damage to Pokemon like Zoroark, to Lycanroc, to another evolution Lorantis uh, just off the top of my mind so 280 damage for three energy or just a metal and a double colorless in all honesty is actually very good even though it's a once per turn but how do you take out Zoroark without needing to use the GX attack we play two copies of Delmise so Delmise has the Steelworker ability your opponents or your metal Pokemon do 10 more damage so now with that 10 more damage, we are now hitting the 210 number, which lets you take out opposing Scizor if they've not used Steel Wing, lets you take out Zoroarks, lets you take out Lycanrocks. So now you're able to take out some threatening Pokemon in the meta, and this also deals with stuff like Gardevoir and Xerneas GX. A very good thing to have right now is just being able to hit that 210 threshold. Then we have one copy of Mars Shadow. So Mars Shadow saw a lot of play at the Pokemon World Championships. You saw it used in the Rayquaza deck. With the ability let loose when you play it onto your hand, 
You may have each player shuffle their hand into their deck and draw four cards. So this is a great turn one card. If you've already gotten going and you have Marsh Shadows, one of the last cards in your hand, you can play Marsh Shadow down onto the bench and force your opponent to start with four cards and hope that they don't start off with a bad hand or it's pretty much a game at that point. And then just one copy of Tapu Lele GX. So then supporters and trainers were running one copy of energy lotto this is just a search out deck thin look through my deck then we have two copies of field blower blow away choice bands uh, it's still pre-rotation so get rid of parallel cities get rid of any other type of stadium or item that could hurt me four copies of nest ball so four copies of nest ball this is to search out Scyther, search out the Oranguru, search out uh, pretty much just uh, the Delmize. So this is why I said using Scyther's attack to get two Scizor, or two Scyther out onto your bench, also means that you can save these to get your two Delmize and an Oranguru out onto the bench. Then we have one copy of Rescue Stretcher, uh, shuffle the Pokemon back into the bench, into the deck, four copies of Ultra Ball to pull out Tapu Lele or your Scizors, this is a card that I am interested in testing. So I'm playing Potown. So whenever a player plays a Pokemon from their hand to evolve, one of their Pokemon plays three damage counters on this. So this now really eliminates the need for a choice band on my Scizor. Now, or two Delmas. So if I don't have two Delmas on the bench and I just have a choice band, I can now be able to pick up a KO on Zorark still because I will be hitting 180 uh, with, or well, I'll be hitting 190 with a choice man, or I'll be hitting 180 with two Delmize. So it's something that I'm looking at it, and it also helps Scizor get to that 100 HP number that it wants to be at. Um, three copies of Copycat, again, just draw support. Four copies of Cynthia for draw support. Four copies of Guzma, so this is just to get rid of Delmize, Marsh Shadow, or Oranguru from the active spot. Three copies of Tate and Li uh, Liza, so either draw support or a switch effect. Three copies of Choice Band because you need to, you, you need the Choice Band to hit that 210 number. And then two copies of a Skateboard, so in case I do need to put one onto Lele and Marsh Shadow, I have those available. And then an 11 for line of energy so we're gonna hop right into here I will leave a timestamp down below in the description with the deck list uh, so you guys know when this actually starts so we're gonna hop right into the versus ladder five hours left unfortunately it does not look like I will be able to get the how uh, the full art how because I really just started playing late in the meta so we see water fire deck in all honesty this might just be the Swampert Macargo theme deck I really think So with this deck, you really want to go first. That way you're able to evolve into Scizor and you can be dealing 80 damage on your second turn. So here we open up Scyther, we open up a Ranguru. Uh, I'm looking at my hand, I can attach an energy onto Scyther. I can Ultra Ball, get rid of an Ultra Ball and an energy. I can search Tapu Lele, I can search uh, out a uh, Delmize, I can search out another Scyther. So that's the way I'm looking at this right now is I have an Ultra Ball Search in hand right now and I have an Energy Attachment for the turn and then I can Oranguru, draw two more, see if I draw any Delmize or other Scyther and then follow it up with a Cynthia. So now my hand's replenished, I'll have, I'll have what would that be, potentially three or four Pokemon on the bench. So we are going to go with that strategy here. I, I think we will grab a Delmize. Because my goal is to get a turn to Scythe, uh, Scizor going. So now we can Oranguru for one card. Which is a Tate and Liza. We are just going to Cynthia the hand away. We're going to draw six fresh cards. Um, unfortunately, this is not the hand I really want to see. Um. 
um, just to maximize my just to maximize my Oranguru's and Struck next turn, I'm going to play the double colorless energy. Unfortunately, that's not what I wanted to see off the Cynthia was no Scizor. Uh, but you know what? Thankfully, uh, we're playing a fairly slow deck. A slow deck to start. Because um, Mudkip does... Oh. That's right, people play Timer Ball. I'm starting to see Timer Ball more and more, so he's probably gonna grab a Marsh Tomp. Oh, picks up a cargo. interesting. So he's gonna Beacon, so Beacon Vulpix allows him to search for two Pokemon, add them to his hand. He's also playing Empoleon, so he's playing two stage, two stage two Pokemon. And that is really not what I want to see. We do get a Guzma here, so I could work on taking out that Mudkip, I guess, but we're just going to Agility. It's going to deal 20 if we get a Heads. Uh, puts us in an okay spot. Boy, that uh, really disappointed me. Not being able to get the Scizor just really sucked. So he's going to rear Candy up. He's probably going to get a Swampert. So now he has a turn three swapper. Now we'll be able to just to discard a bunch of cards from his hand and start drawing. Ah, this is not what I wanted to see. So there's all the draw support from this deck. He's now able just to start searching. Now he's going to play Timer Ball. He's probably going to search out uh, Empoleons. Unfortunately, he does not hit on any of them. Uh, but it's not going to matter because, yeah, he's just going to beacon up. He's going to grab probably a Primplup and a Volcanian Prism Star. Interesting. All right, so I need a Scizor now. All right, we gotta maximize our draw potential. Okay, so we're gonna instruct for two, hopefully land something. We got another Scyther and a Nest Ball. This is a... Uh, not going the way I want to, so we'll throw another Delmize onto the bench because I only play three Scizor GX. Uh, we're just going to Agility. I'm going to do 20 damage, unfortunately. Do not get the heads, but you know what? Not really uh, a good start, to say. Because now he has Macargo set up, and with Macargo, he can now start looking for a card, putting it on the top of his deck, and power drawing it with his Swampert. And that might be the game. Yeah. With Empoleon out, I pretty much cannot do anything with the hand I have. <sighs> Frustrating start. Frustrating start. I wasn't going to bother with that. Um... I would have been had to relying on top deck Cynthia. I still had no energy. All right, so let's pick up with another game here. And it just came from not being able to hit on that Cynthia. If I got one Scizor, the game pretty much was just easy. But I mean, that's the way TCGO goes. All right, so I think this guy had water, grass, steel, and normal or colorless. Let's see. So you're able just to start with just Scyther. Oh, 
Oh, he's playing Scyther as well. Interesting. He's playing Scizor deck as well, but with the water? The, oh, the water's probably the Beacon Vulpix. So he's going to Ultra Ball. Discard two. Search out probably an Oranguru or another Scyther. So he discarded a water energy and a field blower. Interesting. Water energy. Interesting. So there is the search of a Scizor GX. And he's playing Pokemon Fan Club. So he's going to search two basics and put them onto his bench. Oh, adds him to his hand, so now he has a Lele search for potentially a Cynthia next turn. And then he has the Rayquaza, the Rayquaza to accelerate energy. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. Hmm. I'm trying to think of my plays now. So I can attach a double colorless energy to the Scizor or to the Scyther. He already has a Scizor set up. From the looks of it, he's going to have a Scizor next turn. We know two of his cards in his hands are Scizor. Oh, never mind. Uh, we're going to discard Ultra Ball and a Guzma for... I want to say Delmize. I think we'll start searching for a Delmize here. And... We're actually going to twin play so that I can start thinning the deck and get two Scizor or Scyther on the bench. Wait! Oh, if he has a metal energy, I actually lose my Scyther right now. If he has a metal energy, that's pretty much game. I am playing the deck awfully right now. So, Steven's Resolve. Search your deck for up to three cards, put them in your hand, your turn ends. Thank you. That is actually good for me now. So that means Scizor can go in right now. Um, I would need a Metal Energy off the Copycat to actually get a KO. Thank God he played Steven's Resolve. So, what I'm looking at next turn. He did not use Steel Wing. So now he does not take 30 damage less. I can evolve into my Scizor. I need to hit a... Um, I need to hit a Metal Energy off the Copycat. Thank God he added those three cards. Never mind. Alright, so now we're going to get a nice fresh hand of six. Uh, we're going to Nest Ball for another Delmise. We're going to Nest Ball for an Oranguru. And we are just going to go straight away for the Crosscut GX. It's going to deal 220 damage, which will get the knockout on Opposing Scizor. Again, this worked out because he did not, uh, because he did play Steven's Resolve and ended his turn. If he would have played Crosscut, or if he would have um, played just a Metal Energy, if he had one, if he would have just played a Metal Energy and attacked my Scyther, I'd be in a much worse spot. He's going to play an Eevee down onto the bench. I'm not sure why. And a Magikarp. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff in this deck. So he's going to play a Aqua Patch, get an energy onto the Magikarp. So Rayquaza's 120 HP. We only deal 100 damage. So now we can start building up another Scizor here. So that we can start our bench going. So this is how Scizor is supposed to play now. So Potown effect coming into play. Alright, so we got Marsh Shadow. Um, we're going to Choice Band because that's probably Gyarados GX. Uh, we're going to skateboard this. And now we are just going to get 
100 damage done on the Steel Wing. Uh, we should be able to pick up a knockout on the Rayquaza next turn. Hopefully he does not actually get a Gyarados GX set up. I'm pretty sure Gyarados GX requires a lot of energy. As we do see a Glaceon GX, so interesting. I actually do get an Oko on Glaceon GX right now. So I would actually like to see a Guzma on the top deck because I think I still have two. Oh yeah, I got two. I got three Guzma still up. Um, we're gonna Cynthia to get ourselves set up for next turn. We got Energy Lotto. Not really what I want to see. We're gonna Steel Wing for the knockout. So we're up three to six. Alright, so how can I win this game here? I'm guaranteed two prizes off that. I'm not sure what Gyarados GX does. I think I have one, I'm just not sure what it does. So Waterfall Evolution. Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon, put it onto this Pokemon, and evolve it. Interesting. Okay. See, this is where I wanted the Guzma because I could have got, I could have picked off the Glaceon. And he could have been down six to one. So Gyarados is 240 HP. All right. Well, we're gonna Cynthia again and just try to hit a Guzma for next turn. We do not hit a Guzma, but we can start getting. Oh, that that sucks. Alright, so with Steel Wing, we're going to be doing 110 damage to this, or 130 damage to the Gyarados, so that is a two-hit KO. He can only deal 70 damage to me, but because of, um, oh, Pokemon Center Lady heals 60. Uh, I don't think I hit 170. That's unfortunate. What is this? Dreadstorm GX. Discard an energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. I'm losing two double colorless energy here. We've already used Crosscut GX to get rid of his Scizor. Oh. Ignore the little black out there. Alright, um... I'm going to save my double colorless energy. I'm just going to attach a regular metal energy. We're going to field blower. We're going to get rid of his choice band. We're going to Tate and Liza. We're going to search our deck. Draw five. We do get our third scissor. And now we can steel wing. We're going to deal another 130. So he'll only have 40 HP until he does get knocked out. And from what I'm seeing here, uh, does he get a knockout with this? He does. Uh, he does not actually get a knockout with the dread, dragonic disaster. Thankfully, and with no energy really attached to the rest of his Pokemon. Oh yeah. Oh, Articuno's ability. That actually sucks. Well, Articuno will put me in range of... Oh, never mind. I was like, Articuno should put me in range. But, never mind. No, it didn't. Alright, so that's going to pick up a win. He was going to forfeit because I was going to just pick up knockouts there. Uh, I thought he would have just Dragonic Disaster, but I guess he realized that it didn't really matter uh, if he actually did it. So we're going to pick up another game here. Have enough time for one more game. I want to try to get three, four games in here. First game, I really just struggled. Couldn't pick up a W. And was in a hole early on. Alright, so hopefully we can pick up. Hopefully we can pick up another win. So we are taking on Water, Psychic, and Fighting. Alright, 
Tails never fails. All right, never mind. It did fail. All right, so we are able to open up a Scyther. I do see a Nest Ball, so we could potentially get another Scyther onto the bench or a Delmise. Uh, if we're going second, I think a Delmise is probably the better option. Uh, it looks like we're probably playing Buzzwool. Two Nest Balls, so bam, right away. Uh, I'm gonna grab one Scyther, one Delmise. To get going and that's really unfortunate that he opened up Diancie Prism Star. We're gonna attach a choice ban. We're gonna discard Energy Lotto and Rescue Stretcher for a Tapu Lele so that we can grab a Cynthia to replenish our hand. Actually I could probably grab a Lily. Do I play a I do not play a copy of Lily. Probably should add one. Get rid of one of the Tate and Lies and add a Lily. All right, well, Cynthia, draw six, and pretty much just start building these up. Um, we're going to Ultra Ball again. We're going to get rid of an Escape Board and a Metal Energy so that I can add a Scizor into my hand. And now I'm actually prepared for my next turn. I'll be able to deal 80 damage with Scizor GX's attack. I have the double colorless energy in hand. I do have a copycat to replenish my hand based on the number of cards my opponent has. So he's going to nest ball, probably search out a Buzzwool. So he's playing Buzzwool GX. So this is actually our first chance to get a really good idea out of meta deck. All right, so looking at this, next turn I will have a Scizor. He's probably searching for another Buzzwool, probably the baby Buzzwool or a Tapu Lele. Yeah, so there's a Tapu Lele GX. He's gonna play that down, probably gonna search out a Cynthia off the Wonder Tag or an N. Uh, I really do not doubt him searching out an N so that I can get rid of the scissor out of my hand. Seems like a real possibility here. I think N might be the play. He might just N, that way my scissor's gone, but even though, I mean, he runs the risk Ooh, Guzma. Okay. So he's probably going to get my Delmise out. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Oh, he just gets out my other Scyther. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's okay with me. So he's going to Jet Punch, probably hit both of the Scythers. Does pick up one of the knockouts on the Scyther because he does have the strong energy. Which is okay with me. Oh no! Oh my god! That frustrates me. So much. You know what, I guess I just have to use Lele right now to attack. That... I can't believe that just happened. So he's gonna Gladion, so Gladion will allow him to search his prizes and replace whatever prize he wants with Gladion. Oh my god, I can't believe it. So he does have a baby Buzzwall out. 
So now I'm going to be taking 70 with my Tapu Lele, and Scizor's probably taking 30. Hope he knows he does not want to weaken Scizor that much. Right, well, I'm going to Copycat for 3. Uh, you know what? Those, those actually help me next turn. Uh, because, one, I can go out into Scizor. Scizor will have 90 HP. He doesn't really have anything set up. Buzzwool don't really play many energy generally. And with Beast Ring means his uh, Buzzwool down here will be doing a lot more damage. Uh, Sledgehammer does 30 plus 90 if I have four prizes. Uh, with the knockout of Buzzwool, that is what will happen. What we're actually going to do here is we're going to Tate and Liza. We're going to switch and get out into my Scyther. And with this, we should be able to Steel Wing for the knockout, take two prizes, and still have enough HP to actually take a hit from the Baby Buzzwool. As we do get another Delmize, which is nice. We get a Nest Ball, so that allows me to get a... Probably an Oranguru. As there is the baby Buzzwool. Oh, he does have a Diancie Prism Star, though. So I just need him to play a regular Fighting Energy, because that would be 140 minus Resistance is 110. Or not Resistance, uh, with the Steel Wing Resistance, it would be 110. Puts me at 200. I'll be able to pick up a Knockout on this Buzzwool next turn. You know, hopefully we actually end the... End the video with a win against Buzzwool. He does play a Beast Energy, so he will be claiming a knockout here, unfortunately. Ooh. Warp Energy. Okay. Never mind, then. Never mind then. Uh, Potown does not actually uh, help me at all here. As we are just going to Steel Wing, it will knock out the top. It didn't? Oh, I'm not at. Oh, I was like, I thought I was at 100 damage. Or I thought I had 100 HP left. Well, there's a strong energy. He could Guzma right here and pick up a knockout. Uh, fortunately, Ace Rolla. That'll work. So he's just going to Ace Rolla, and now he'll be able to play Tapu Lele back down onto his bench. He will be able to be get a pretty easy KO here with Buzzwool, uh, but I should be able to pick up a KO next turn with my Scizor. Buzzwool has what? Oh, it has 130. No. So strong energy, just 20. 40 plus 90, 120, 160. Uh, with the resistance, it, uh, not resistance, the steel wing minus 30, it's 130. That is enough to get a knockout by 10 HP. Okay, so what do I do here? What do I do here? So I can go Lele, damage it, and keep my Scizor alive and healthy. It doesn't look like he has anything that I'm really worried about. Uh, if I do that, Lele now does... 1, 2, 3, 4 damage. I'm going to Cynthia replant our hand. We're going to Ultra Ball, we're going to get rid of these two for a Scyther. Should have actually got rid of the Marshadow. Alright, so we're going to Energy Drive here. Yes, it's going to put him down at one prize remaining. Uh, but it allows my Scizor to go in and claim a knockout, and he doesn't have anything on his bench right now. 
that wants to deal with uh, Scizor, and I can crosscut GX, uh, the Tapu Lele, or potentially a Buzzwool. If I can get a another, if I can get a Guzma. So he went and got a Remoraid and a Rockruff. I'm looking at this as I should be in a good position to win. Because there's his second strong energy. Ah, he played another strong energy. Really? Well, I don't think his Zoroark won't be able to get a KO, I don't think. Oh, yes, he can. He's just going to bring out the Aranguru, then he's going to Dangerous Rogue GX for the win. Unless I get rid of that Rock Ruff. Okay. So I got to think about how to play this. I could get an escape board off the Marsh Shadow and I could bring in that Rock Ruff. I could attach this here. All right, we're going to instruct for one. Not what I wanted. Um, we Guzma, we bring out the Rock Ruff. We bring in this Scizor. We play Marsh Shadow. Dang it! Oh, I didn't get it. Well, we'll just cost ourselves an energy. We will retreat. We will steal wing, get rid of the rock rough. So now I'm not worried about the lichen rock. Which is good because he was potentially going to win with dangerous rogue GX. Now that's two strong energy in his discard. He has one on the Buzzwool. He's dealing me... I do not have four prizes, so he's only dealing me 50, 70, 40 damage to my Scizor. I pick up a knockout next turn. This should be a W against Buzzwool. I do apologize if this video is running longer. He's playing Pokeball. What? Search out for a basic Pokemon. So what I need to do now is avoid getting Guzmud. I need to get rid of this Buzzwool as quick as I possibly can. So he's going to get an Octillery, uh, which will allow him to Abyssal Hand. So he's probably going to Abyssal Hand for one card. Unless he plays anything else this turn. Not sure where that's going to help him, but if I can get rid of this Buzzwall, it's pretty much game. I can crosscut GX the Tapu Lele. That will be two prizes, and that should be game. So he's going to Kukui. So now he's going to be able to deal me 60 damage. Uh, I'm just hoping he does not. 90 damage now. And he plays another Buzzwall onto the bench. Go figure. With all the resources he has on the... <sighs> so now he has two strong energy. That's 40. So one heads. That does 180. Oh my god. Is two fighting energy. If he has a basic fighting energy, I'm done. No. 
yes. I don't know. You know what? We're going to Steel Wing. So we are going to get the knockout here. We're going to have two prizes remaining. It is a Guzmo. Yes. How many double colorless energy in my discard pile? I have one double colorless energy left in the deck. He no longer has strong energy, and I don't think he plays basic fighting. Yes, he does. So, I have to look at it like this. He gets a basic fighting. I used crosscut. Lele might be able to get a knockout. If he has to, no, he doesn't play. He shouldn't be playing double colorless in the deck. I get a knockout on Lele here. He's going to abyssal hand for one. Thank goodness. And that should be game. That should be the game there. That should be a win against Buzzwool. So there's the fighting energy he is going to... Oh, he didn't retreat. He does not retreat. So, one, I could Guzma and pick on the Diancy Prism Star. I don't really want to risk it. Uh, we are just going to Steel Wing. And that will get the knockout. And that will be a win against Buzzwool. As that does 180 damage. Whew. That one was a struggle. We have 50 Poke Coins there. Whew. Well, guys, if you guys enjoyed this uh, Scizor GX deck profile, went a little bit longer than I had wanted. But we got three games in, went two and one, one being that forfeit early on. Go ahead, hit that like button. Let me know down in the comment section below what decks you guys want to have me review. I do have this one coming up soon, Honchkrow Top of Coco. That will be a future deck profile for you guys. But with all that being said, guys, I am Johnny GB, and I am out.